Hey y'all, welcome back to another channel. It's very nice to see y'all again. I don't know if y'all can come and see me, but today's video is going to be talking about my college updates. Today marks one month, one month that I've been at VCU as a VCU student on both the Monroe campus and the MCV campus. Um. I'm on the MCQV campus that has a lot of graduate students, but my BS, my bachelor degree is in health services, so that's why I'm here. Um, before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, can I have this instead? And if you don't really know already, if you want to see certain videos, or you want to see certain comments, or you just want to, you know, comment to comment, comment. Just comment. It's fun. I like to talk to you guys when I have the chance. Worst and worst, you can follow me on these socials as well to kind of keep up. Other than that, let's get to the video, okay? I just want to show you guys how pretty my classroom is. Like, this is my um classroom on MCV campus that kind of goes with my major. It's really pretty, and class three just ended, and I'm doing a discussion board right now. Actually, I finished this discussion board, but let's actually get back into the video, okay? Okay. By the way, I'm just going to tell you guys I have to catch the bus back to the campus, so this is going to be a very much a walking talk type thing, okay? Okay. My, like, not really advice, but one thing I've noticed, right? People have different home training. For sure, people have different home training. When I tell you, you don't expect people to be mature in college. That's a whole little map. Most people, I'm not gonna lie to you, still have that high school mindset, but just with the educational level a little bit up. Like, first of all, the drama I be seeing is like, and I just be people like, mm. and then like, I'm not gonna lie to you, the main people are like kind of have that mature non like sense is just like high school is mainly like actually sophomores and up. Most of the people I've kind of got in touch with are sophomores or juniors, and um they're pretty nice. They're pretty chill. Like it's gonna be hard to kind of find people that kind of have that mature sense, but maybe that's just me. I'm always trying to be with over kids, not to like downplay my peoples, but that's just how I am. Like my mindset's a little bit like I I can be immature. But, like, when it comes to education, when it comes to, like, you know, growing yourself, like, I try to take an assertive, like, way, okay? Let's go to number two, and let me actually leave here, because the bus is about to leave. Okay. okay. Advice number two. Really be passionate about the major you want to do. I'm telling you guys right now that you don't have to be in misery when you have your major. Hold up. I had to move my bad. People were loud. But, um, I went from a biology major to a health service major, and I have zero regrets. I love my major. I love it. The class is educational and it's amazing. And I didn't have to suffer through biology to kind of understand that. If you already have a sense that your major isn't for you, I'm not gonna lie to you, do more research and then see if it's worth it, but don't try to force it. You can have fun in your major. Okay, okay we're downstairs. Let's go to number three. Okay. Advice number three, don't force it. Like I said, like everybody, like everybody says like, okay, we're gonna talk. You actually have to force like friendships here. And when I say like people, like, it's don't don't be so hard on people. People are still fighting out the way, so are you. And you can only do so much. And like, once you start kind of getting busy, you really won't really remember like everybody you kind of hung out with before. If you understand my drift. You can't even see me really, okay? So like, it's okay to be alone. I'm literally walking by myself in the city. When I tell you I go to a lunch hall by myself most of the time, and I just say, hey, how are you? You're good? Cool. Like, you can have very much simple, not in-depth relationships with people on campus, and that's fine. It's going to suck at first, but it's fine. You can't really do as much about it. Okay? So let's go into number four or five, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I kind of forgot. Okay. So I'm going to get to my bus stop. I kind of forgot, like, what, like, number one for this advice. But one of them is, the fact is, like, Nobody cares. <laughs> when I tell you, like, this can be a good or bad thing. I said I was going to change my aesthetic to, like, a skirt girly. And look, I'm wearing a skirt and a top. That, it's been a month. I only did that, like, sorry. I have only did that, like, a few times. Most times I wear sweatpants, pants, and that's okay. When I tell you, I was wearing off-white, three different yellows. And nobody cares. People will stare, you look at them back, and you just keep them pushing. Okay? like nobody cares like have them fit and if you feel like you don't look cute that's all right because you do stuff for yourself and that's just how it is yeah okay let's go to other advice while i kind of wait in the bus stop with people with scrubs on 
Sweet. I kind of forgot what advice I'm on. I'm not gonna lie to you, so I'm just like keep saying it. So I'm currently waiting on the bus, and of course the bus is not even on time per usual. But my other advice is freshman 15 will hit you for certain people. Like I swear to you, I was gonna, it was gonna hit me, and I walk like 10, I walk like 40 minutes, more than even that on a daily basis. The only reason why I'd say that freshman 15 hits you is if you're bored and like you're always in your dorm. The only thing you can like, and that's where you at, right? I'm in the city, and there's many four places around here that are on walkable distance. Oh my god, the bus is on time. Actually, yeah, they're on walkable distance, so I just eat. And it took me a while to get out of that funk and start working out, but don't think it's not gonna hit you. So be cautious. Bye. Hi, I'm back, and I'm back at my campus. This is my dorm, as you guys already know. Okay, I remember my advice. Yes, naps are good for you. But if you know you are not tired and you're just bored, don't take it on that. Go do the school. Come to me right now. If you just get out the way, don't think it's gonna be fun. If you just do it, it's gonna be fun. Put some headphones in, go to music, go to a different study area. If you're on a good team, you have a lot of study areas. So it's not that bad. Just go and do that work. Now. Cause that's really the only thing that's hard about college. It just you need to learn how to organize yourself. And that goes into my other advice, which I'm gonna say when I get back to my dorm. Okay. I'm back in my dorm and got two more advices for you and then we're gonna see, okay? This is for all my high school cuties, my high school babes. Not even babes, just my high school babies. Be direct with what college you choose. Imagine you're gonna be there for four years and that college has like, you know, a master that you like. My college has a health administration master's. You might be there for eight years. When I tell you, it is so important with the college you pick because you're going to be there. You have to interact with them people. Like, I'm telling you, you cannot be in isolation. Networking gets you a long way. So you're going to be interacting with those people. You're going to be in classes. They're going to teach you. Like right now, I love ECU. Like this is, this is, like I didn't pick this college. Remember guys, I picked it, but like it wasn't my first choice to like literally this year. So the resources, like when I tell you every person, staff, family member, staff, faculty professors they're so nice and so opening like when i tell you that i've gotten so much help and that's not even because i have good networking skills it's just because that's who they are and this is how the campus is the resources are available there's what you know how many advisor appointments i've made y'all i've made like eight eight and it's not because i'm in two different programs there's so much help that's so specified and then the teaching when i tell you your classes do not have to be difficult your classes do not have to be difficult they don't. If you put the right college, you don't got to be difficult. My professor, she literally gives on six different types of, like, lecture, like teaching styles because she's like, you guys, I know everybody learns different, so here's all the stuff. Like, I know it's not for, like, everything in VCU, but as of right now, we have so much options. And imagine you paying for a school that doesn't do all these amenities. Like, of course, there's always, like, some, like, College might be that expensive, but you need to get the bang for your buck, sweethearts. Okay? And lastly, let me tell you my last advice while I go into some fun time. My last advice, my last and final advice. Yes, college is a fresh start, but you need to have certain stuff established in place that is like a kind of like a backfall for you. So like if I didn't have my organization skills, I'm not gonna lie to you. The organization the loneliest, I it'd be done. It'd be over, right? You just need to find things to do. Like I tried different vocal places. Yeah, that's where I go to the Fashion 15. I watch movies. I've done hair. I've gone to different clubs and events. Like, try to get your loneliness out there. And I know it sucks. And that's why it's okay to be alone. Have that same place. Have those little backfires that you'd have in high school. And, yeah. I just I trust and believe you guys got this. I just got to be transparent with you. And about my experiences. And that's why I made this channel, right? Right. So, that's kind of it. Thank you much. Thank you so much for watching this video. You guys even saw how much like, I traveled. Not really. Um, stay in the lookout for more videos. You already at you right now at freaking 7:30 every Fridays. Catch me on your screen. Yeah, yeah. So you remember to like, comment, subscribe. Um, check out my socials if you want to see more about college life, college content. You know, comment down below <laughs> if you want to see certain stuff. Like I really like your input. It'll work a lot for me. Um, you know, I love y'all. Y'all stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next channel, okay? Bye!